Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator for your He Says, She Says spread. <clears throat> so this is the second time that I am recording this video because the last video, somehow I overlapped my voice. So <laughs> you were hearing like multiple Sonyas at the same time. So I'm doing this over. Uh, the extended is still correct, so you can um, watch the extended, but it will be a different outlook and all of that. And that's because I just told you. <laughs> So let's see what is going on for my dear Capricorn. So I just want to say thank you all for your likes and your comments. I will post the bonus readings after the he said, she said spread. So keep on liking um, and keep on commenting. So thank you. Let's see what we got going on. And oh, by the way, I heard from a lot of viewers that you don't get any notification or most of you don't get always a notification. So maybe if you could turn on the notification bell to all instead of like personalized, you will get a notification whenever I'm online with another video. Right. So let's see what we got going on, my dear Aquari uh, Aquarius Capricorn. Sorry. Oh, there goes the Bambi. <laughs> There goes the Bambi. All right, what is going on? I hope you like my new Christmas decoration. <laughs> Let's see, what are the messages for Capricorn? All I remember from your last reading was a lot of conflict and defeat. Like you were feeling conflicted. You were feeling like you were defeated in a situation um, that people were getting at you. Uh, I also remember that in your last reading, you had something about needing to be careful who you trust. All right. And I see that now here with the nine of wands as well. So this is like being a little bit on defense, uh, protecting yourself, being quite worn out, but still fighting what, for whatever it is that you want to fight. This is the warrior, the, man, the last man standing and the one that is not giving up. So there's a lot of persistent energy within you um, and also consistent energy, I wanted to say as well. You have the Hermit reverse with the Four of Wands. So this is actually good. Like you're coming out of a period of being in the hermit and you you really want to be together with someone right if this is a love situation you want to be loved you want to be nurtured you want to you know celebrate life um, you're a little bit tired from being on a solo journey so some of you may have been on a solo journey with the hermit and the nine of wands this is definitely calling for some type of completion of that chapter where you felt like you know, you had to sort yourself out, you had to sort your, um, you know, private life out, your personal life and all of that. And now that that is coming to a wrap, you, you want to celebrate, you want, you want to show yourself to the outside world is what I'm picking up here. So let's see what else, what is going on with the person? Capricorn is dealing with I want to say Aquarius all the time I don't know why I've done Aquarius less yesterday or something so you know that's weird so some of you may be definitely dealing with Aquarius but Saturn and Jupiter are going to try and in Aquarius as well so that might be definitely the energy that you are feeling right now as well nine of wands so both of you have this defense attitude right like both of you um, not giving up on each other but at the same time being fragile is what i'm what i'm hearing so maybe both of you feel like the situation is very fragile at this point and you don't know how to enter the situation or you don't know how to proceed forward is what i'm hearing ace of swords okay this is interesting and the empress wow that's beautiful so if this person was holding back a lot and not being very open with you i'm hearing open and polite i don't know why but anyway i'm hearing if this person was not really open with you they are about to express themselves and express some type of love that they have been keeping away from you for a long time because they have the empress in their situation so this is feeling unconditional love feeling a lot of nurture and love towards the situation and towards you uh, this person may definitely come to the realization that you know you are the real deal you are like a 
you know, wifey or hubby material. That's what I'm picking up. And I feel like they want to release their defenses. So they may be slowly but surely opening up because I do have the four of pentacles here in the reverse with the judgment. So after a long period of being confused, stuck in a black hole, uh, this person is finally coming to the realization that if they want love, they need to open up for it as well. So that seems to be very promising. Just Dear Bambi was just like staring at me like, can you just pick me up? <laughs> So we've got the temperance card. So some of you are being very patient, like patient within yourself, within the process. Uh, like I said, you had a lot of things to take care of in your own personal life, which you are doing, you know, step by step, one by one, brick by brick. You're just building yourself up. You are trying to you know, remain control over your emotional life as well as your practical life. And I feel like you're coming to a lot of solutions here. The temperance card is kind of like, for me, um, like the hermit somehow. So I do feel like it has all to do with your internal feminine and masculine energies that are now becoming more and more balanced. So we have the six of swords reverse and the ten of wands reverse. It makes me feel like there is something that you really want to release and let go of, but you haven't completely sorted out how to within your own mental space, right? Like you want to get over it. You want to forget about it. There's something you want to forget about, but it keeps on resurfacing. It keeps on resurfacing. But I feel like you do have a lot of power and control to change whatever it is that you want to release devil yeah so there's something that is really restricting you restricting you moving forward restricting you from moving into a new direction here with the six of swords and you may be feeling very overwhelmed but with those two nines going into the ten of wands reversed it does mean that you are going to put an end like there's a completion here like a major completion and release so i do feel like within this month you're going to feel a relief a relief of detaching yourself from something that was toxic, something that was, you know, eating at you is what I'm hearing. King of Cups. Well, so we got the Empress right next to it is a King of Cups. So that is definitely a lot of love. You are receiving a lot of love from the people around you. We've got the Queen of Wands here as well. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or an air... <laughs> Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, Taurus as well. We got the Two of Cups reversed. And the Eight of Wands. So exp oh, and the Page of Cups. So expect things to really move forward with this individual. There is a lot of communication. There is definitely an expression of love. Uh, even though you may not see completely eye to eye, maybe physically not seeing eye to eye, uh, because the Two of Cups is in the reverse. And I do remember in your last reading, I said, I believe it was yours, someone is drowning in their emotions, drowning in their love for you. And I feel like that phrase is coming back again. So this person has been definitely drowning in their emotions in regards to how much love they have for you. So with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups, expect this person to communicate apologize and to open up slowly but surely but they will open up regardless um, at this point with the knight of pentacles being in a reverse things may be not speeding up or you may feel like it's going too slow or there is no movement at all but the movement will be done like it will come what is a blockage Three of Swords with the Lovers Reverse. So some of you may be still forgiving or healing a Gemini in particular or someone that you felt a very deep connection with. And with the Lovers being in the reverse, you're still not sure if you would let this person back in and if they would treat you in the same way. So I feel like you still need to heal from a situation where maybe you did not get to be the chosen one. Uh, this could be a past situation that you're needing to heal where someone did, didn't choose you 
over someone else or there was a decision and maybe you did not choose the right thing to do and now you feel like kind of hurt and needing to forgive yourself for the decisions that you've made right so that's what i'm picking up here with the three of swords two of swords so this might be something that you have blocked out so there is definitely a decision that either you have made or someone else has made in the past in regards to love that needs forgiveness and i do feel like it is maybe you but it could be the other person as well so again gemini energy queen of swords in their blockage so this person wants to speak up but they don't know how to get themselves untangled out of a um, judgment that they have made is what i'm picking up because with the hangman being in a reverse this is someone that wants to keep things moving forward or unwrap unwrap themselves out of a very stuck situation where they may have sacrificed things for the wrong re reasons and with the queen of swords that is someone that usually only thinks well, not only things, but like they, they make decisions based on logic. They make decisions based on, you know, what they have seen rather than what they feel. So I feel like with the hangman being here, which is Neptune, and Neptune just got out of a retrograde, this person may have come to some type of realization that something that they had in their mind was a complete illusion. And now they're like, okay, how do I get myself out of that elusive energy and still be, you know, logical and objective in my approach to the situation? Hmm. And it could definitely also be... The, a form of apology like if they have treated you kind of harsh in the communication or being very you know projecting on you they may be really trying to figure out like okay how do I express myself how do I express where I'm coming from um, how do I express this apology so we got the page of cups wanted to fly out it was in the reverse but i was not on the next subject so let's see outside influence and what you don't see coming <clears throat> seven of pentacles with the king of swords so yeah your person gemini libra aquarius could be an earth sign as well no matter what their sign they're really waiting for the right moment to speak up this person has something on their mind like i said they are trying to find some type of confidence to move forward this person is definitely still invested invested in this conversation if you felt like they were withdrawing from the conversation they're still investing um, and invested they're just needing some more time to elaborate on how to communicate with you five of wands so there is a lot of conflict within this individual like mental conflict is what i'm picking up on um, I feel like they are a little bit competitive at times as well. So <clears throat> that's why they, they're always in this power struggle with you. And whatever they want to say, they want to excel in it. Like they want to have the last word is what, I'm, what I do pick up with that five of wands being right there. Ace of swords. Uh, for others of you this might be someone that wants to communicate about something that happened in the past some type of a conflict and they're trying to find the strength and courage to do so i do also feel like this person needs to stand up from them for themselves like they really want to say something but they're holding back a lot <clears throat> what is their outside influence Nine of Cups. The Moon. <clears throat> wow, Knight of Cups with the Hierophant and the Lover's Card in their outside influence. So that, that might definitely be you. But if you're not wanting this person, if you don't have like secretive desires to be with this individual, um, if you 
then it's you, right? Like, it, but whomever this is, this is someone that is very serious, it is very much looking up to this individual. They have a lot of fantasies even. They have a lot of, um, you know, wishes in regards to this commitment and to this relationship. And I feel like they, they see you or they see this individual, sorry, in very high regards, like someone that they really respect, that they really admire, um, they have a lot of romantic feelings for, and they really want to move things forward. Now, if this is not your energy, that might definitely be the energy that is coming towards this individual in order to make those moves, because this is really good energy. So this is definitely very, very beautiful energy. Like getting your wishes met, getting your fulfillment, met moving things to the next level and with the lover's card this is again a decision that is going to be made so maybe that's you because the lover's card is there in your blockage so let's see what are your intentions in the extended reading i will check on how they are the, how they are feeling about you how they are viewing you and what actions to take. Um, also advice for you and as well as <clears throat> some oracle cards. King of Cups, wow, you're definitely emotionally invested to, in this in, individual. You may not be expressing it with the King of Cups, but you're feeling very comfortable with what you are feeling. Like you're, you're very much acquainted but by the emotions and by the feelings that you have like it feels very familiar and acquainted to you the magician wow and the eight of swords reverse okay you you got it all together this month capricorn like i feel like you're definitely getting yourself out of any stuck situation mental thinking mental repetition overthinking a process and really putting all your manifestation skills into realizing this true love or this deep love that you're having and whatever you're doing, it is going to work in your favor because you got the magician, you got the king of cups. So if you've been manifesting or doing a lot of, you know, law of attraction things or, you know, be in that high vibration energy to attract love to yourself and to be in a very loving space you will get that love so this is really good if you're not that is definitely what you need to be putting your intentions in all right what is their intention what are their intentions death reverse so whatever ended in the past they want to revisit this they do not want this to end definitely not want this to end uh, we do have the nine of pentacles reversed, so they may be, you know, in between worlds in regards to do I want to be in a committed relationship or do I want to, you know, experience my freedom and my singlehood mentality. And I feel like they're definitely in that um, back and forth mindset, which is also the lover's card, right? Like, do I really enter this relationship? Do I invest myself or do I choose you know another direction and enjoy myself and my life with no strings attached right so i feel like no strings attached is definitely what the key is here like whether they want that attachment or not uh, but i do feel like they will slowly but surely want to have a commitment but maybe they want to take it very slow maybe in a, on a friendship level uh, maybe they want to just see where it goes without like fully investing in it So be patient is what I'm hearing. Like this King of Cups is looking at me like, okay, I know you love me. <laughs> so I'm just going to be patient and just do me, manifest myself, uh, my future. And I'm sure that you will be in the future. <laughs> we'll meet once, one more time. Like we'll meet and we'll meet somewhere in the future. Sacrifice. Why do we have the sacrifice card? Didn't I say that this... Queen of Swords was sacrificing or needing to sacrifice something. What is this sacrifice card? Oh, foundation and achievement. So maybe this is 
this is like the key issue someone has made a wrong decision in the past like i said here with the lovers card might not be you but might be might be the other person but the key issue here is that someone had something really good going on and they sacrificed something that was possibly really good and stable and i feel like that is why they are taking so long and they're in this waiting game because they're afraid that they're going to make another decision that is going to bring them a lot of trouble let's see emotional withdrawal and throat chakra so someone needs to detach themselves emotionally in order to figure out like i said with this king of swords and the ace of swords what what they need to say they have something on their heart they have something on their mind and they need to communicate about it in order to make this change and for some it might be that someone really wants to leave a relationship um, in order to be with this particular individual and it's hard for them to to tell their partner or tell their uh, whatever their partner that they, they're not satisfied and they want to leave a situation so that might be the case that might definitely be the case for some of you like say for example that you want to leave a relationship because you want to meet like you want to be with this king of cups energy or the other way around and it's hard for you to talk with your partner and say like hey i think we need to break up the unexpected so expect things to move forward unexpectedly um, there is definitely an unexpected come together that is planned in your future we got the number 43 which is the number seven so it could be the 7th of january that this is going to happen for you so that might be a time indication uh, change and surrender so whatever changes comes to you around this time because we we have like the um, great conjunction of jupiter and saturn moving into aquarius so that is going to be a really big change definitely for you because you are you have the ruler planet of saturn uh, allow those changes to happen surrender to them some may be good some may not be good some may be very unexpected but whatever the change is you know ride that flow right like go with the flow um whatever your boat flows like go in that direction is what i'm picking up for you so that was my reading, my dear Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to press the like button as well as your comment. I will be posting a bonus reading after the He Says, She Says press. So if you want the link for the extended, you will find it in the description box below this video and somewhere here in the corner where you will be led to my website, dealwithilluminator.com. Uh, also, I will be posting the Spotify list in this um, description box as well for those who want to get a little bit in the groove of the illest music all right so thank you so much and speak to you soon bye